ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the big top been riding it a little bit there's an issue and I'm gonna tell you all what I think about it what I think it would be is whenever I'm everything's fine up until you get to high speed and it's just like to I'm thinking it's just running the gas right out of the carburetor. It's just pulling so much air and what have you. We got a camera mounted right here to watch it. We're gonna take a rip on it. And y'all comment and tell me what you think it is. The, uh, The, uh, it's kind of odd. It's got a 75 jet in it, and the needle is on middle notch. But there's something else <coughs> I want to talk about and tell everybody this. I'm not new to this. I'm not new to two strokes or anything like that. I'm not new to the motorized bicycles. You can look back on videos, and I've done several uh, e-bikes. The reason I built one of these to start off with was one of the batteries went out on the uh, one I had, the batteries are so expensive, I said, because I go back and forth to work on this and play around on it and stuff like that, I said, you know, for the cost of the battery, I could build one of these. That's not necessarily true. Now, putting a bike together, buying a bike and putting a bike together is two different things. And a motorized bike is a third different thing. There is a lot of really great channels out there that I've looked to in the past to get good information on how to do these things, the do's and don'ts, adjusting the clutch what to look for in jetting and what have you. One of them is L.A. Hover. That's another Louisiana builder. Great channel for people that are starting out and for people that's been doing it a while because he's done it, plain and simple. So if you, he's got a wealth of information. He's got a lot of really great videos and highly recommend the channel. I go to it for information a lot. Hughes Motorized is another one. Really great channel. Uh, good information, you know, and that's all I can tell you. Those channels are great. You got, you got Motor Life. All these are good channels. I'm beginning just like y'all are. So, with enough said, let's go give this thing a rip. I'm going to turn this camera on which is going to watch the carburetor. The reason I want to do that is I want to see if there's a huge amount of back pulse. So we got the speedometer, we got the tachometer. So.
kind of think it's running out of gas. But we got our camera down there to see whether we're back pulsing. And that means we're free porting. Check how fast it accelerates. Okay, I put another plug in it, just for argument's sake. Put a new plug in it. And I really don't want to run this thing too much lean with that little carburetor. Don't want to burn it up. Lean is the worst thing you can do with these things. It's running out of gas. 
it's just sucking that little carburetor dry. Needle and seat can't supply enough to it. Everything else is fine. If you just wanted to put around and do 30, you're good to go. Put around and do go 30, do we? <laughs> okay, well, I am to the conclusion that the carburetor is running out of fuel. If y'all know something else, please let me know. Uh, this is a brand new. NGK I put in there and ran it around the block a couple of times I would say I'm kind of lean I actually looked down in the bore and everything and everything looks good it's just I don't want to destroy it because I know it's got potential I hate this pipe because of that long header and I'm in the I'm just about inclined to start modifying it again because uh, I don't like the way it does the headers too long I, I know it is on all these pipes the headers too long and too small so that'll probably be the next thing uh, but other than that guys it runs good I can't complain, there's no leaking anywhere around, anywhere. I, this little bit of gas right here has been there. It's just dried oil is all it is. It's not really gas, so the, <laughs> the, the camera I had here was rendered useless immediately because of the spray of oil that you see coming off all over here from this damn thing. And I am like just totally had it with this pipe. I want to turn this thing straight down and then kick the damn thing out so it's not spraying oil everywhere. And like I said, and what I do, I don't mind cutting this thing up. I'm like an old guy that's got a, a nice shop. And this is a new hobby to me because it's, it's inexpensive. All this work I did equates to me buying a new jug for $49 but I'm not gonna buy a new jug I'm gonna put the bigger carburetor on it stop it Frank I'm gonna put the bigger carburetor on it and uh, I think that's the problem in a nutshell it's just not, not getting enough air now I've got a speed carburetor coming <laughs> and those are just an, a bigger NT uh, in one of these fancy intakes which is actually going to go on the motor that I'm redoing for this one which is going to be another video and uh, pretty much that's it because I ordered some intake parts an aluminum intake that was for totally for something else and I'm going to modify for this one to get the carburetor out a little bit because it's a bigger carburetor uh, and clear it and level it off this particular motor is going to go in another build like I said it's just going to be a random bike it's not for anybody it's just something I'm going to do here on the channel and if we have a group ride somebody can ride mine I'll ride it because I don't really by the time I get done with this one I feel that it's going to run really good and it's and, and that's a 40 uh, 42 sprocket. I think this thing will pull up 36, 32 very well once we get it carbureted. Uh, I don't feel it's the CDI because the CDI ran the other motor to 8,000. So I kind of feel this little NT just can't keep up with it. It's just pulling too much air and it runs out of gas and the needling seat just can't keep up. 
So we're going to continue on with it, but I'm happy with it right now. Another thing I'm doing is because these bikes, motors come in and out, I'm putting RC connectors on most all the motors now. So if I have to take them out, because I solder the whole wiring system. I have, I, I bulletproof the wiring system. Everything soldered, uh, shrink tube, and all that. So th this is not an issue, I know, because those things can handle 60 amps. And I know this thing is not putting out 60 amps worth of power. But it makes taking the motor out of this bike and other bikes a lot easier. We never had no problem with them. So, but that's it in a nutshell, guys. I I wish this camera would have picked something else, but I am not picking up anything right here. Just oil from this god awful thing. Back pulsing would have back pulsed a lot of gas and stuff around there, and it hasn't done it. So, it's just running out of gas. It's just not getting enough air. Just not getting enough air fuel mixture. I think it's gonna do good. I think it's gonna do really good. And like I said, it hasn't leaked or anything. I haven't lost any compression or anything. It's done good. So what I'm gonna do is eventually when I pull this thing out, I'm gonna pull the jug off of it, inspect everything when I start to build the other bike and test this one because it's kind of my test bed right here. I'm going to uh, pull everything down and then I'm going to measure everything and take a picture of everything that i did so if y'all want to duplicate it you can the reason these motors are built the way they are is because we don't need little jimmy saving his milk money up buying one of these things uh doing 50 mile an hour into a busy intersection with some sketchy uh, coaster brakes on the back. So by me saying that, don't do anything that I do. Uh, and if you do, you do at your own risk. Like I said, I'm just an old guy with a shop that's got a new hobby and it's barely inexpensive. I mean, the electric bikes, when I go to buy a battery, you know, you're talking five six seven hundred dollars for 84 volt or a good one and you can literally build one of these not with all the stuff i got on mine naturally but you can build a bike you know for less than that and it's the only reason i built this one but uh, I'm going to get the intake, I'm going to get it in, I'm going to modify it, I'm going to get the carburetor on it, we'll do some testing on it, and we're, we're going to run it again. But it accelerates really well. Uh, it just gets it up a plateau, and it's just, I feel as though it's just pulling gas out of it. This pipe I hate. I literally do. I hate that long uh, header link. I would like to cut it and put a band in it right here, a two inch band, and shorten that header to go around like this. Knowing me, I'm fixing to take it off and hit the saw. Because like I said, this is an inexpensive hobby. I love riding these things. Uh, this is my transportation back and forth to work when the weather permitting. Uh, I'm not like L.A. Hover that will ride in the rain and everything else. God bless him. The, uh, but uh, this is what I take back and forth to work on. I guess I, I guess you could call me a fair weather rider. So, but they're a lot of fun. I love them. So thank you for watching. Please hit like and subscribe. Please leave a content, uh, comment, I'm sorry, what you think this might be the problem I say it's lean I say it's just sucking all the gas out the damn carburetor and it can't keep up and when it gets up to around 69 67 68 69 it just 
it doesn't cut out completely. It just cuts. I know it's not the CDI because that would be y'all's first uh, thoughts on that. Maybe it's governed or rev limited, but it pushed the other boat at 8,000 with no, with no issues. So I don't think that's it. So I really do think it's just sucking all the gas out of it. So thank you all very much for watching. Please comment and please hit like, please hit subscribe. All that helps out here me doing all this stuff because I'm on my own here. I don't, I had super clean, uh, sponsored video and I'm fixing to do when I clean all this stuff up, this pipe, because I think I'm fixing to just cut it up. Uh, they're going to clean this pipe up. So maybe that other guy will show up. I don't know. So y'all have a good day.